فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير. We are so in need of Allah. And Allah is so independent of us that He makes it clear to us in verse number 15 of Surah Fatir. Ya ayyuhan nasu antumul fuqara'u ila Allah. Wallahu huwa al-ghaniyul hamid. In yashak yudhibikum wa yati bi khalqin jadeed. Wa ma thalika ala Allah bi Aziz. These verses show the power of Allah. Allah says, verse number 15 of Surah 35, O oh people, indeed you are the ones who are fuqara ilallah. You are in desperate need of Allah. And Allah is totally independent from you. He does not need you at all. The next verse says, In yasha, if he wants, he can delete you and replace you with someone else. And that is not difficult at all for Allah. If Allah wants to delete us now, we would need to press a delete button to delete something on our phones or systems. Without pressing a button before the button can be pressed, Allah can delete everything. Gone. He can replace you and me with someone else. He says it. Ya'ti bi khalqin jadid. For Allah, it's simple to replace you with someone else. And He has done it in the past. And He continues to do it. It's the way of Allah. All He is showing us in this verse is we are desperately in need of Allah. We need to turn to Allah. Wallahi, I tell you, my brothers and sisters, we will never lose anything by developing a relationship with Allah. Praise Him. Say words that are declaring His praise. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah. While you're walking, while you're driving, right now while you're sitting, say subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. Why not? Develop your relation with Allah. Praise Him. Oh Allah, I love you. You have given me so much. Oh Allah, make me strong. Oh Allah, I'm weak. Talk to Him. Make a, make a relationship with Allah. It can never be wrong. And it will never ever result in anything bad. It can only be good for you. The loser is he who distances himself from his own maker. The one who made you. You have no option but to return to him. You have no option but to return to him. So you have to make friends with him. Subhanallah. Worship him and him alone. Talk to him. Praise him. Say words to him. And you will find a beautiful relationship with Allah. Where you are going wrong, you will find that because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's connection with you is quite strong, you will be distanced from haram. It will take you a very, very long while to even think of committing haram. May Allah forgive us all. May Allah strengthen our bond with Him. My brothers and sisters, it's an important point. Read the Quran. Recite the Quran every day. Few verses. You will open your doors with Allah. That's His word. That is the best word in existence. The word of Allah, the Quran. Read a few words a day. Why can't we do that? We are Muslimin. I'm sure we can do that. No matter who you are. Don't say, no, I'm weak. Read one verse a day. One, just one. Pick up a Quran. Keep it. Go and get a new one today. Keep it and read one verse a day. I promise you your life will change. I swear to you your life will change. We are looking for positive change in our lives. Wallahi, the change is in front of us. Allah showed us how to change. Why then don't we start? Start somewhere. Start with one centimeter. I promise you you will get somewhere. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors.